Hi, my name is Matt, and in today's vlog, I will showcase an urban farm in Los Angeles and give insight on how they give back to the community. Waddle's Farm is a nonprofit community garden located in the heart of Hollywood. They have a partnership with the Los Angeles Department of Recreation and Parks and are one of the oldest community gardens in Los Angeles, having been started in 1975. The location of the farm dates back to 1907 when it was owned by Gordon Waddles, a businessman who bankrolled much of early Hollywood. On the lower 4.2 acre property where the community garden is located, many of the original citrus and avocado groves from 1907 are still alive and producing fruit. The trees, which are now a century old, are a part of the communal space at the farm where any member can harvest from. Now, Waddle's farm is closed to the public in order to protect the plants and produce grown by its members. The farm has around 300 members and 172 individual plots that are 15 by 15 feet, which are available for rent. Members can plant whatever they want, but they must follow organic practices or else they might lose their plot. Water and tools are provided by the farm for members to use. To become a member, one must live within five miles of the farm and pay an annual membership fee of $180. Prospect members must also participate in two consecutive monthly cleanup events on the farm before they can join. During a cleanup event, every member helps tidy up communal areas such as weeding around fruit trees or tree trimming. Some communal areas also grow pollinator plants, such as milkweed. And in the avocado grove, there are a few beehives which help pollinate the plants and trees around the farm. My favorite thing about Waddle's Farm is their sense of community. During my visit at Waddle's Farm, I noticed how friendly everyone was with each other. Everyone seemed to know each other by name. They asked each other how they were and how their families were doing and what their plans were for the holiday season. During my tour, I spoke with a new member of the garden who has only been a member for five months. They said they joined the garden because they wanted a space to grow their own food during the COVID-19 pandemic. Waddle's Farm provided the perfect place for this person to grow their own food and have their own little green space during a global pandemic. After the tour, I was able to see the benefits of this community garden to its surrounding community. Although the farm is closed to the public, anyone within five miles of the farm could apply for a plot to grow their own food with water and tools provided. I saw firsthand the strong sense of community between members and saw the social, physical, and mental benefits of being part of this community garden. More information about Waddle's Farm could be found on their website at www.waddlesfarm.com.